Lights, camera, action. It's time to meet Oscar, the newest legend of the silver screen, ready to take Tinseltown by storm. Once he's used his star power to escape the theater he's trapped in, that is. Star in the role of a lifetime as you help Oscar navigate four different levels full of fun and adventure in search of a way to escape fantasy film world he's trapped in. Will our hero be able to turn in an award-winning performance and escape from the theater, or will he be stuck on screen forever? And this is Oscar, developed by Flair and published by Titus, released in 1996. It's part of the Oscar franchise. Apparently there's an Oscar franchise. What is Oscar? Who is Oscar? I have no idea. If you know what kind of thing that is, uh, please let me know. It's a platform game. Of course, it was also released on the Amiga, the Amiga CD32, and DOS in 93, and later, of course, ported to the Super Nintendo, developed and published by Flair. The CD32 version was bundled with the CD32 console on the same disc as Diggers. The player controls a character named Oscar through seven Hollywood-themed levels collecting Oscars, and clearly that's what I was doing. Couldn't you tell by looking at it? I couldn't. Uh, was remade for the SNES, had some changes including a Game Boy item. The first sequel was released called Oscar in Toyland in 2009, 13 years after the original. It's themed around, guess what, toys. On February uh, 2010, a second sequel was released, Oscar in Movie Land and its various movie genres. A third sequel in 2011, Oscar in Toyland 2. And five months after that, the fourth and final sequel, Oscar's World Tour. All of the sequels were released on DSiWare only. Computer Gaming World gave the PC version uh, average, another very average platformery arcadey bounce them around with confusing graphics. The magazine predicted that it will only appeal to total platform addicts who will likely find something better to waggle their joysticks at anyway. Uh, yeah, I hate games like this because it is really hard to tell what's what, what's going on, where everything is. The camera could pull back a little bit. That's the problem I have with like Jazz Jackrabbit and Plock even. Pull the camera back a little bit. Let me see more of what's going on. Slow it down a little tiny bit. It will be a much more enjoyable experience. Oh, 